Okay guys, so as promised, I have the Projectile Launcher Part 2. This one is made from a bottle of Simply Orange orange juice, a paper towel roll, a whole lot of duct tape, and the handle of a pot that broke off and I was going to throw away, but I thought maybe it would work as a foregrip for this potato gun thing. And so I already have some wadding jammed down in the barrel. The bullet is a AA battery covered in paper towels that is then covered in duct tape. Sounds really safe. And so I went ahead and I dropped that down in the barrel now. And I'm going to put some wadding in the front, which is just a paper towel. You just kind of jam that down in there. You need a long lighter to do this. I just got this at, I forget where, I think Kroger or something. And then drill a hole in the back, or in the bottom of the bottle, so you can stick the lighter in. And the best thing to do is just take like a regular, like a folding pocket knife and just kind of work your way in there. And then take the lighter and get it really hot and just push it in while it's the plastic's still soft. And that gets a good seal on it so you don't burn your hand. So the propellant I'm using is going to be Axe Body Spray. So I'm just going to spray some of that in the hole. Insert the lighter, as you can see. And hopefully it'll work this time. Oh, and don't do this inside. It's best to do it outside. So I'm going to shoot that can of Sierra Mist off of the box. And it definitely worked. Alright, so I'll get that in slow motion for you guys. Here's the bullet. It came back and almost hit me, actually. So, yeah, I'd definitely do it outside and some distance away. But uh, I'll get that slow motion up for you. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe to me here on YouTube. Okay, so I know I pretty much ended the video, but I just wanted to show you what happens sometimes. So, what happened was the wadding got stuck in the end of the barrel because it was getting frayed a little bit. So there's the wadding. I covered that in water so it wouldn't catch on fire. And the pressure basically just exploded the whole barrel of the potato gun. So I would suggest using something a little harder than this, unless of course you know, the harder something is, the more likely it is to become shards when it explodes and everything has its breaking point, so... You might just stick with this, because it exploded and didn't hurt me at all, so... Anyway, thanks for watching the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it.